Nervous system navigation. Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching, and in today's session, we're going to explore the nervous system. And this is your guide to acing your level three anatomy exam, specifically focusing on the section related to nervous system. And today, we're going to give some context of what's actually happening in the nervous system so you can be confident and ready for your exam. So why do you need to know this ready for your exam? Anatomy is the study of all parts that make up the body, whereas physiology is the study of how all these parts function together. The nervous system is one of these many parts. However, this system is the command center for all other systems in the body. In order to get the best results for the client in all other systems, it's vital that you understand this one. So the, the nervous system is really key for understanding all the other processes that we have in the body and understanding how the parts, which is anatomy and physiology, all function together. This complex electrical network holds the key to unlock your client's full potential. Every step, set, rep and heartbeat and more provide stress and stimulus on the body systems. This demand sends a message to the client's brain and their central nervous system, which in turn quickly responds and adapts all of the systems in the body to deal with that stressor. That's why we need to understand the nervous system. So what is the nervous system? The nervous system is responsible for sending, receiving and processing nerve impulses throughout the body. The nervous system is a communication network. And the network is broken down into three basic functional elements. So the first is about sensation. And this is where the nervous system gathers information from the environment. You're going to understand this mostly as a result to apparent neurons and the sensory receptors that we have in place. So, for example, when you feel something, when you touch something, when you see something, when there's a change in pressure or a change in anything in our body, we have to pick up that sense and then we have to do something with it. So the very fast part of the nervous system is sensation, understanding that we've got the, all these sensory receptors around the body, not just on our skin, on the outside, but also inside our body, inside our muscles, inside our organs, inside our blood pressure, everything like that has a sensation. So we gather information from the environment and from in our internal environment as well. Then step number two is what we call integration, interpretation, and analysis. This is a response of the central nervous system. And this is whereby the nervous system deciphers all that received information and then it interprets it in order to understand, understand and decide on the appropriate response. So for example, let's just say your sensation that you have is that you put your hand on a hot stove, immediately you're getting the sensation signal being sent up through your what we call afferent neurons, or your sensory neurons, and then that gets sent into our central nervous system. That's where we have integration and interpretation of all that information. It analyzes all of that data to say, that's a really hot stove, I don't like it right now. And then it moves on to step number three, whereby it says the best action is to respond. Response is step number three. And this is where the nervous system is responsible for initiating the appropriate response. So with the hand on the hot stove, it goes, oh, that's really hot. The response is let me contract a series of muscles to make sure that I can lift my hand up off that stove. So you've got these three different parts, all of which are part of the nervous system. There's three main functional elements, but they all combine together to be the overarching nervous system. And we can pick up loads of different sensations, Therefore, there's a million, a billion probably different integrations, interpretations and responses that our body can have that responds to the internal and external environment that we have. So let's explore these components of the nervous system. I've explored them a tiny bit already, but there are two major divisions of the nervous system. One is the central nervous system. That's made up of the brain and the spinal cord. Then the peripheral nervous system is the second part, and that's basically all other neural elements outside of the spinal cord. So any of the spinal nerves that come off it, also any of the um, efferent neurons, the afferent neurons, our sensory receptors, these are all part of the peripheral nervous system. So let's explore the big picture of how this is all organized. Now, the nervous system itself can be branched down into what we've already said, central nervous system, and the peripheral nervous system. Now, because the central nervous system is only made of the brain and spinal cord, 
that role inside the central nervous system is that middle part I was talking about a moment ago. Let me go back and show you the integration, interpretation and analysis that all happens in the central nervous system. But the peripheral nervous system, that's the one we're on now, is going to be made up of the sensing and the responding. So let's go chunk this one down a little bit further. The peripheral nervous system can be chunked into two sections. We have autonomic and we have somatic. Now, autonomic, for want of a better word, means automatic. It happens automatically without us thinking about that response, that sense and respond. It just happens. And it's communication with our internal organs, our glands, also with our external if we need to as well. And it's communicating all the time to adjust and make micro changes. So this is constantly happening right now as you're listening to this or watching the video. What's happening is that you're exploring your autonomic nervous system. You're listening on watching and there's a response happening in your body to help with the storage of that information. Maybe you're moving your body and as you're moving your body, that's also a response of your autonomic nervous system. At the same time, you're digesting and your heart is beating and you're breathing. All of this is autonomic. It's happening automatically to make sure we stay alive and also that we respond to the environment automatically without having to think about it. But there's also a somatic nervous system. And this is the stuff we have to think about and that we have to control. And this communicates with sense organs and voluntary muscles. So if you're in the gym and you're working out, all of the time that we're controlling and actioning those muscles, then it's going to happen as a result of the somatic nervous system. So Let's now break down the autonomic a little bit more. This goes down one more chunk. So we've got nervous system, that broke down into peripheral nervous system, that went down to autonomic, that one goes down again into what we call sympathetic and parasympathetic. Now, when I say these that happen automatically, we don't have to think about them. There's two parts to this. One will prepare you for fight, flight, and freeze, and really kind of get you moving and I suppose arousing sensation. Whereas the other half will help calming and bringing you back down. And these are really important because they help us manage throughout the day, especially when you start relating this to hormones, when you start relating it to the types of changes that happen in our body and our endocrine systems, also our digestive system. It starts to make you really aware of what's happening all the time. So sympathetic division is about arousal. This is basically this fight and flight approach. So let's just say you're warming up in the gym and you're getting ready. Your sympathetic division of your nervous system is getting you ready for that stressor that's about to come. And in order to do that, it will increase your heart rate. It will prepare your energy systems. It will dilate your pupils and it will prepare you for going and taking action. Some, same thing happens when we're stressed. Our heart beats a little bit faster. Our mental clarity comes into play even more. And this is the opposite of our parasympathetic division, whereby it brings us back down to earth. This is what's also known as rest and digest. It's the moment when we relax, when we bring ourselves down, when we've finished eating food and we're resting, taking a moment, sitting on the sofa, sleeping at night. It's recovering and recuperating all of those main systems. So that is our nervous system. You need to know this branch. You need to understand how they branch down through this big picture, starting off the overall umbrella term of nervous system down to central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. A good image here of all those components. Then it goes down into somatic and autonomic. Remember then autonomic is broken down to sympathetic and parasympathetic. Now that is just a glimpse of the nervous system. It's an overall of the navigation. And the nervous system is one of eight different modules that we have inside the revision boot camp. Now the revision boot camp is going to be everything you need to learn, revise and pass your level three anatomy and physiology exam in under 10 hours. So if you're looking for more help and understanding, just like what we've delivered here today in the nervous system navigation, here you can understand it for every single module that you need to know to prepare you for that exam. It includes five revision stations to logically guide you through the boot camp with simplicity in 10 hours study. We've had people then spread that 10 hour study out over 10 weeks and we've had some people decide to do that in the matter of a few days. So it's totally flexible to use as you wish. 
but regardless, you get lifetime access and instant access. So you can go through at your own pace and you can even come back and learn even after you've passed. There's 12 video tutorials that span across all the different modules. Um, and the way that we do that is break it down into the video tutorials just like this, where you can see me at the top of the screen, but you've also got the nice clear imagery on screen as well. And you can download that so that it's on MP4, which is video format, and MP3, which is audio format. Now, the benefit of audio format is fantastic because it means that you can download it to your phone and then you can listen whilst you're in the car, whilst you're driving, whilst you're out cl cleaning, walking, in the gym, anything. And it's really great repetition and that helps the information stick. So on top of this, you also have 12 cheat sheets. Now, a cheat sheet is here to help you take notes. And also it will give you some mock questions on each tutorial so that you can recognize areas you know and highlight what areas need a little bit more revision. Then at the end of this, you also have as part of these revision stations, a section all about exam strategy training and mock questions to help you really get ready for that exam. Because being prepared for the exam is not just about knowing the content, it's about being able to apply that and being able to answer questions effectively. Then if that's not enough, you also have tons of support from us. This means that you can literally pick up a phone and speak to me and I can answer any questions you have about the revision bootcamp, technical problems or revision based questions as well. And you have access to our support group. So if you have any questions, you can not only ask me, but you can also ask other members of the FitPro community that are working through their bootcamp or already completed. So there you have it. That's our anatomy and physiology revision bootcamp. If you are looking for more help with your revision, not just in the nervous system, but across the board, then please do check out the link that is alongside this video. And you'll notice that that has all the details on there about the bootcamp and how it works for you. If you do have any questions, remember to reach out to me directly. And there is a link on alongside this video to help you as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I really hope that the nervous system navigation helped you to understand the nervous system better and start thinking about how it all links together ready for when you go and take your exam and also start training clients. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Take care.